you are my genius brother. Yes, I am. Because I watch MakeMeGenius.com every day. We have been playing for so long. Now I am really hungry. Okay, then why don't you go and buy a burger? Yeah, a burger would be good. But I don't know which way to go. You can find the burger to the north of this park. What is north? Oh, it looks like you know nothing about the cardinal directions. Let's learn a few things about directions and maps so that you never have to face any difficulty in finding your way. What's this? This is an image of cardinal directions. You have to know the cardinal directions first. These are East, West, North, South. You know that every day the sun rises and sets. Of course. The sun rises in the east direction and sets in the west. So, if you stretch out both your arms in a way that your left arm points towards the east, then your right arm will point to the west. Your face will be towards the north and your back to the south. That's so easy. Thanks, Jimmy. You are welcome, Jimmy. But you should know about maps too. Maps? Wow! Great! Tell me, Jenny. You know, any place on earth can be located on a map. Any continent, country, state, rivers, highways, oceans, lakes, sea, any place can be shown on a map. Wow, this looks beautiful. It is so colorful. I thought it would be black and white, boring stuff. Why is this map so colorful, Jenny? Different places on a map will be shown by a different color. Imagine, Jimmy, if this map is in the same color everywhere. It would be so tough to locate a particular continent. Oh yes, you're right, Jenny. The countries and states Oceans, etc. are always in different colors. Can you show me Africa on this map, Jimmy? That's there in orange color. You're right, Jimmy. Different colors means different countries, states, etc. The cities are shown with the help of a dot and the capital are shown by a star. Some maps give us map keys to help us understand these different colors lines that are given on the map. That's great, Ginny. It would make it easier for us to understand a map. Exactly. The water bodies like oceans, rivers, lakes are shown in blue color. You can see in this world map that all the oceans have been shown in blue color. Sometimes, rivers are shown as curvy blue lines on a map, as you can see on this map. What's this? Oh, a map again. But wait, it looks much different from the other. It has only brown and green color. Yes, this is a relief map. It shows mountains in brown and low plains in green color. I have one question. What is the difference between a map on a paper and a map on a globe? For that, let me bring the globe first. See, there's not much difference. Globe is a real representation of the Earth's shape. As our Earth is round, a map on globe can give you a clear view of real location of a certain place or landform. I understand, but what is this line? It is called the equator. 
It's an imaginary line that goes around the Earth's halfway, dividing it in northern and southern hemispheres. It is at latitude of zero degree. Latitude? What is latitude? Look at this globe. These parallel horizontal lines on the globe are known as latitude. There are these other lines too, which go from top to bottom. What are these? Oh, these! These are known as longitude lines. They connect both the poles. You should watch the video on longitude and latitude on MakeMeGenius.com. I will definitely watch it today. But let me thank you first. I have learned so much in such a short time. Did you enjoy it? Oh yes, absolutely. Ginny, it was so interesting. Oh great. So I hope you will now be able to locate places and directions around you or on a map. Oh yes, definitely. Thanks a lot. Now I'm feeling hungry all the more. Now can we go get that burger? Yes, let's go. We have to go to the north, not south, my sister. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>